Gallstones affect 20 million people a year in the U.S. alone, and many people have gallstones and don't know it. Dr. Samuel Kashani at Valley Presbyterian Hospital discusses gallstones and the range of symptoms. Gallstones are stones that are made up of different substances uh, that are stuck in our gallbladder. When we do get symptoms of gallstones, uh, that's associated with pain after eating, few minutes after eating, that's usually in the middle of the upper abdomen or in the right side of the abdomen. The pain can radiate to the back or the shoulder. Uh, there is sometimes associated nausea or vomiting. Uh, if the gallstone causes blockage of the gallbladder and infection of the gallbladder, we can have fevers and chills associated with it. Dr. Kashani told us the treatment options for gallstones. Treatment options, initially you want to avoid surgery, obviously. Uh, you want to change your diet, uh, have less greasy food, less fatty foods. You want to avoid spicy foods because that helps contract the gallbladder and cause pain. Uh, caffeine does the same thing. Um, so we want to avoid those certain foods to see if the pain goes away and the symptoms go away. Uh, if they don't and the pain is recurring, at that time the options are surgical. That's the best way to treat them. Dr. Kashani told us about the single port gallstone surgery. The newer ways of doing surgery is using the laparoscopic method but making it less and less invasive and practically maybe scarless surgery where where single port comes in. And single port surgery is basically making an incision in the umbilicus, belly button, and that's the only incision we'll have. We'll do everything through that incision, uh, dissect out the gallbladder from the liver, and safely remove it through the belly button. And once you come out, there's only an incision in the belly button, which after it heals is practically invisible. Patients go home the same day. Uh, I've had patients go back to work within a day or so after surgery. Uh, obviously, every surgery has pain, uh, but with single port surgery, pain is comparatively less than other types of uh, surgery for the gallbladder. Deborah Kuferwasser, a patient of Dr. Kashani, talks about why she came to see him. I had an attack, and it was very painful. I did an ultrasound, and there in the ultrasound, they saw the stones in my gallbladder. He did a single port surgery, which is through my belly button. The hospital, I was in a day. I didn't spend the night, and I, I just took Tylenol. I didn't have to take major medic pain medication. Um, and then after the two days, I took it slow, and, um, but it was okay. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. We asked Dr. Kashani if the single port surgery can be used for other procedures than gallstones. Single port surgery definitely can be used for other operations. Um, I've used them for hernia operations, for removing the appendix, uh, for removing colon, uh, that's for co benign colon lesions or cancerous lesions. You can use them for weight loss surgery, for putting a lap band in, uh, for doing a sleeve gastrectomy, which is making the stomach into a narrow tube, or even gastric bypass operation. Basically, any operation in the abdomen can be done through a single port operation, single port surgery.